Hey, uh, my name's Amethyst, or Amy for short. It's not often that I sit down to make a more serious video, but with the channel growing as much as it has been lately, I feel it's better to do this sooner rather than later. If you're here for lighthearted gameplay and banter, this might not be the video for you. However, if you want to hear more of my story, I appreciate you watching. I've always enjoyed making things. Even at a very young age, my first memory of trying out content was pointing a garbage camera at my TV and playing Sonic Colors. I kept wanting to go further with my creations, getting my parents to make me a YouTube account that no longer exists. As I got into playing Minecraft, as everyone did in the early 2010s, I put my video skills to quick work and started making random stuff, mostly inspired by a couple other YouTubers like popular MMOs. I quickly picked up a fondness for programming for my dad and started to dive face first into command blocks and whatever other simple programming languages I could find. As I kept working on random little projects, I found myself playing and attempting to mod just shapes and beats, forming a little following. I always set my sights higher than before, attempting to work on projects beyond my skills, but I had fun all the same. After a while, I set my sights on a new game, Super Mario Odyssey. After seeing Skellix's Superstar mode, I really wanted to try modding the game myself, so I got myself a modded Switch and started to work on trying to learn how to mod. This is where I finally started forming an identity and presence online, and I took a lot of pride in the work I was doing. However, as time passed, it became harder to enjoy the work I had made. I'm a small bit of a massive perfectionist, and I knew I could do better. But regardless of the changes and improvements I made, I never felt quite like enough. I had begun to develop quite a lot of mental health issues that, while starting small, began to grow. This wasn't just an issue that was affecting my attempt at a video career, it started dragging me down further and further throughout my life. In retrospect, I should have sought professional help. Instead, however, I approached my best friend about it. We'll call them Sina. As the pandemic struck, I found myself with more free time than ever. As a result, I found myself learning a little about furries, mainly from Sina. Interested in them and the community around them, I began creating my own simple character. A character created to be who I wanted to be, rather than who I was. A character that I became very attached to. The extra free time also gave me a lot of space to breathe, to think, and to realize that something didn't feel quite right. And it wasn't like I actually wanted to be a girl, it was just fun to have a character I could relate to. Nothing weird about that. Well, alright, I guess if I had the choice, I might want to be a girl, but I wouldn't want to bother being one of those trans people, right? Huh. I first went to Cena about being trans. Asking to try out the name I gave to my character, Amethyst, plus a different set of pronouns. A pretty common practice for trying out a change in identity. It didn't take me long to realize that this identity felt right to me. I was really excited about what I had learned about myself, so I went straight to the internet. I changed my YouTube and socials to be Amethyst, properly adding trans and furry to my online identity. This was nice. Needless to say, just because I had figured this out for myself didn't mean that all my problems had gone away. When you consistently get hundreds of views a video, and then the moment you do anything you're actually passionate about, you're given dirt and a few less subscribers. I was lucky enough to get as good a start as I did. What if you just want to make cute furry things? Do you just keep forcing yourself to make content? That's what I've been doing. I kept finding myself in small, silly fights with Cena, 
Nothing too bad for a while, but they kept getting worse and worse. I still went to them, and they'd come to me, but there were some cracks starting to form. Growing discontent with my voice, I moved away from voicing videos and just wrote subtitles to avoid having to listen to myself. I knew I had to start some sort of gender transition, I just didn't know how. And Sina, on the other hand, had their own idea of how to get that ball rolling. One more quick fight later, Sina had gotten my family's phone number and was quick to tell them about my gender identity along with some of my other mental health struggles. Now, I am extremely lucky. A lot of people sadly aren't able to say this, but I have a wonderful family and they were nothing but supportive of me. I was on course to starting my transition, totally unprepared, but excited to see what would come from it. After a good while of bouncing between doctors, I managed to start hormone replacement therapy, or HRT for short. In the meantime, I had started training my voice. While I still had a long way to go, I had gotten myself progressing towards what I wanted. Me and Sina continued down a rough path, but I always came back. After all, I really care about them, and I'm not just going to let my best friend struggle alone. Because they were alone. Alone? Sometimes even someone you trust the most doesn't have the heart to be honest. Someone that, for years, was my best friend. Best friend? It was hard to say. Constantly strung along, promised more than a friendship. So many different things flying by your head, set aside because you care about them. I thought they needed me, and maybe they did. But a friendship should never be a responsibility. It should never be a therapist. I already had myself head over heels into this furry VTuber thing. That's what made me special, right? But the longer I did this, the more I realized I would built myself on a brand. Not just my online identity, but all of me. A compassionate tool to help you. But starting my transition helped me find worth in myself. I realized I felt more trans than woman. I felt more furry than person. I felt more label than individual. But I, before I was woman, I was trans. Before I was person, I was furry. I wasn't me. I was what others wanted me to be. Something to identify with. But it didn't have to be like this. I wasn't by myself anymore. I had found support from so many others, so many people like you. I may have built myself out of labels, but everyone wasn't going to turn away, right? I'm still anxious about the numbers, views, subscribers, followers, keeping up my appearance. I know who I am. And those who won't accept change, fuck them. Hey, uh, my name's Amethyst, or Amy for short. Um, ditching the script here. Thank you all for watching, seriously. This is a video that I could never have imagined making, even just last year. And the amount of you that have shown up and watched either every video I've put out or just one random one and you happen to also watch this 
it it means the world to me um we we've I, <laughs> sorry I'm a little nervous um I I've put so much time into these videos and until a couple days ago at the time of recording this we didn't have a YouTube partner and we got that thanks to all of you who watch and subscribe and that means I can make stuff like this with your guys' support instead of just doing it all out of pocket and <laughs> And just donations from Twitch streams and things. And it it's it's kind of incredible. I've been doing YouTube for eight years. And to think that only in the last year we've gone from barely hitting a thousand to thirteen thousand of you, probably more by the time this video comes out, is mind-blowing and I I don't know when it's I don't know if we're peaking right now or if this is just the beginning but I really I want this to be a new a new era for the channel and to everyone who's watched this far thank you it means so much and I hope I get to keep making stuff with you thanks Bye!